Ahoy there once again, folks. Welcome to another Train Simulator Classic video. Uh, we're back on the Long Island Railroad, which was released uh, very recently for Train Sim Classic. Uh, and we're going to take a look at an actual run here. So we're going to do a straight up run from St. Albans, which is on one of the little branches here. Down here. And we're going to run through Jamaica up to New York Penn on up out. Now, during the video I made uh, yesterday, just looking at the route as a whole, which I will link, uh, which should pop up to the top right hand side of the video here if you want to check that out. It's quite long though, so you'd have to bear with the almost two hours of it. Uh, just looking around the route, I never actually did a full run. So here we are, we're actually going to do a run. This isn't a very long scenario, about 30 minutes or so. Uh, and this is also a scenario already on the workshop created by Brandon, uh, aka Cactus Juice, and one of the route, uh, one of the route's very own developers. He had a lot to do with building this route. And he created this scenario, and it's St. Albans to Penn Station uh, via Mainline 2. In the uh, little beep boop about <laughs> the information about the scenario, it says operate a St. Albans to Penn Station via Mainline 2. You'll follow a train into Jamaica Track 6, and then continue to follow that train to F Interlocking. You'll diverge and continue to Penn Station. Scenario was utilized heavily during testing to stress test the signal system and was recommendation was a recommendation from a subject matter expert that operates regularly on this territory. Represents real life movement, but the times are fictional. I will also link this below if you want to try this scenario out for yourself. And I've done a few other things as well. So um, as far as the frame rate, I you know was never getting a great frame rate looking at this video, or looking at this video, looking at this route during the video yesterday. Uh, right up top here, top right, I've got the frames on. They currently are sitting at about 28 FPS. Now, one thing I can tell you from messing around with this a little bit, uh, 24 hours on, quick drives are heavy, heavy, heavy. The scenarios are not so much, but they're still very much there. Uh, Dovetail and the devs have acknowledged, yes, it's quite intensive frames-wise, and they're looking into it and hope to push a patch. I did not refund this obviously I'm still playing it I still have it I'm beyond the two hours I want this very much to be good because it is a fantastic looking route uh, especially with the you know the infrastructure as far as in cap signaling and and things of that nature so it's all really really good uh, one of the things I've also done is lowered my graphical settings so I normally run two by two super sampling in the in-game settings and I have lowered that to down I can't remember what it's called. And then something I did earlier, which I have not done here, is if you just straight up turn the headlight flares off in the settings, you'll get lots and lots of frames back. You won't have any lights. You won't have any headlights. But you'll get lots and lots of frames. So there's a couple of options you can work with presently. There's even uh, you know, the M7A from the Hudson line that someone has modded. Uh, from years ago, which you could place on here, which will save a few frames as well because it's a slightly different train. It won't have the same sounds. I don't know if the same safety systems will function as is, but anyway, I'm going to stop blabbing and uh, let's just get on with it here, shall we? Let's go ahead and throw the key. Brakes to max brake. Get that gauge light on and we'll start charging the brakes up. So we're kind of out in the boonies, St. Albans as far as the route is considered and I've got a nominal frame count right now it's about 25 26 27 I could play with that all day long I could play with 20 frames because it's still relatively smooth uh, at that juncture but when it's you know 14 and sub 14 it's uh, it's literally almost unplayable so anyway we're gonna we're gonna get on I'm gonna leave the frame counter up there and just kind of notate as we go and uh, see how it is this like I said, is a scenario created by one of the devs. So we'll just see how it is uh, as far as AI and whatnot in this scenario, of course. Look down a bit so I can see the uh, ASC.
bit of a freight oriented area over here to the right. We're actually just south of Jamaica. Well, and a little east as well. But uh, there's some potential over here for some, some freight stuff. This area doesn't see heavy freight moves, but they do happen. Um, you know, Long Island's got a couple of switchers. I don't know what they are. I don't know if they're like MP15s or SW1500s or something like that. But there's always a possibility for that. And the uh, New York and Atlantic GP38s or GP40s, whatever they have. That's Hillside Yard right there to the right, if I'm not mistaken, I think. All right, we need to slow down now. And we got a 40. Oh, uh, I didn't do this. Wrong lights. There we go. <laughs> Frames are still pretty good. I don't know how much AI he has thrown on this scenario. But, uh... I believe that's going to have a lot to do with it, honestly. When I, uh, when I was further looking at the route in the video I made yesterday. Get down to 30 here. I, uh, I did a bit of testing uh, within the editor, and I, I had it locked at 60 frames, and then I threw one train car down. Not even an entire train, and that one train car already killed 10 frames, so... You know, it could be part of the scripting. I know uh, scripting can be heavy with a lot of things. A lot of in-depth uh, trains and train sim. Could be a combination of things. All right, so we're stopping at Hall Montauk Branch Track 2 up here. And we do have a 20. I'm just preparing for that 20 in front of us here. Frames have dropped down a bit. Uh, we're down into the 24 FPS range. 23. And we got to stop just up here. Haven't seen any AI yet. We did uh, get a late start. Frames are still hanging at around 20, 22. See, I can play at this speed. This is uh, this is not much of a problem. There's an AI train there. All right, let's go ahead and start breaking here.
All right, track six. That is our destination here next. Still relegated to a 15 down on the uh, speed board in the middle. And we'll coast as this little bit here is a bit downhill. Coming into Jamaica now from the east side. All right, we'll goose it a little bit here. There we go. Still relatively smooth. It's dropped another FPS or two. It's down to about 20, 21. We see one other train so far, just to our left there. Let's take a look at the map. Yeah, we got some stuff inbound up here. All right, what are we... Uh, Ah, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight car? And we'll open the doors. And something I noticed, I'm not seeing it on our train, but the trains do have destinations. Uh, I didn't see that yesterday in the video I made, but I saw it today setting this up here. Of course this one doesn't either. Made a total fool out of the statement I just said. Uh, anyway, if you look at, uh, I think it was a, a rail fan scenario. Uh, if you look around, you most definitely will see destinations on the side of the train. Alright. So we're going straight on to pin. 23 frames per second. It's jumped up a little bit. The one biggest gripe I have about the sounds uh, is is the way they just immediately kind of cut out abruptly, accelerating or decelerating when you're braking. Um, that would have been nice to have a, a bit of a more gradual ease into or out of. Still at a 15. We're going to cross over again in just a moment, it would appear. Twenty seven frames, twenty eight frames. We now have a thirty. Here it's actually 20. It's one of those instances where the uh, the actual overall track rule or track speed is lower than uh, what the train's showing you. 
Now I have a 40. And then it should be a clear 80. 30 frames per second. That is probably the highest frame rate I have yet experienced on this route. You know what? We're going all the way to Penn. I don't think we need the HUD. Now the problem is, I don't know the upcoming speeds. But uh, we'll give it a shot anyway. Jamaica bound train there. 32 frames, 33, 34, it hit 34, 35. I feel like I'm calling a horse race here. Uh, Now to get to this point, I did have to lose a little bit of graphic, uh, graphical fidelity, which I'm not super fond of. But at this point in time, to be able to uh, run this route smoothly, that's what I personally have to do. Um, I'll show you my settings uh, after we get done with the run here, just for what it's worth overall. Still getting pretty decent frames, 30. Really is a good looking route though. They did a fantastic job visually. There's a lot of uh, opportunity here as well. You know, maybe one day see uh, an M3. It'd be nice to kind of do a throwback, do some of the old school M3s. And of course, you know, a little bit of freight, some, some Long Island uh, switchers. You know, maybe some ballast trains, work trains, stuff like that. That'd be very fun. Of course, New York and Atlantic. Move some freight around. And then uh, the, you know, well, obviously the uh, DM. DE diesel bimodal train set that that would be epic Double check, yeah, we're only stopped at pin. Okay, track a little. Little 
toots for the farmers. Farmer toots. And the city comes into view. Still rocking about 30, 32, 33 FPS, or it was. Though, so far, not a lot of heavy traffic. Seeing like two trains, maybe three. It is a short run, so there's not the necessity you know, to have a lot of AI, because you're not really going to see it, you know, from start to finish, so. Sunny side off to our right there. I didn't even look and see what the requirements are. Let me take a look for the scenario real quick. I, I don't think anything. I believe it's just this. Yeah, it's just uh, Long Island. And I think someone has also made a scenario as well already. I'm sure there will be quite a few scenarios for this on the workshop and elsewhere. It's, it's hard getting the freaking throttle and brake on spot without the, the HUD here really seeing what you're doing. It's got a bit of a lag to it with the key presses. Alright, frames are coming down a little bit. 25 FPS, 26. Well, uh, track rule, track speed is 60, or now it's 45. We are locked to a 30 down here. now 30 overall it is about to get dark but it's going to be real interesting to see what uh what it's going to be like in pin See something up there on the left. Oh, that's the uh, what's it, Hunters Point station there, train serving that. So yeah, it, it seems really down to the AI, uh, or the trains themselves, or the, the scripting within the trains. Again, I'm not super astute with the technical stuff within train sim, but there's not a lot of AI in this scenario, and it's running fairly buttery. Much butter. And we're not talking real butter, you know, we're talking like country crock, you know, the the 90% vegetable oil stuff. Uh, which one's the light? There we go, that's high. Barely see. But we got some speed, so let's go! I find it a bit odd that the, the tunnels don't really illuminate. If you're in darkness, uh, in per se, you know, like one of the scenarios to come on the route, going under bridges, things like that, they illuminate those. But it's a bit dark in the tunnels. I 
I'm going to take a peek at the HUD. Oh. I got an X in Jamaica. We most definitely picked up some passengers. Oh well. So how far are we? One and three quarter mile. I don't want to come slamming in there at Mach 7. A bit brighter in here. This is odd. <laughs> this tunnel here is very lit compared to the other one back there. Or not the other one, but the other part. Getting 56 frames per second in here. But uh, don't don't let that fool you. You know, it's like Atlantic Terminal. That's that's where I get some of the worst performance for whatever reason. Okay, now the tunnel's super dark again. And I would have thought being in Atlantic Terminal, you know, underground, there's not a lot of stuff to render. It's on screen. Uh, but it's it's the complete opposite. It's very odd. All right, we're getting close. Six tenths. I can see it just ahead. I don't know what the exact approach speeds are here. Probably going to get slapped with a warning in just a moment. Yeah. There we go, 15. See, now we have light. This, this looks a lot more natural, lighting-wise. You know, on the, uh, the walls here? So it's, it's funny how it doesn't actually illuminate in the tunnels. And coming into pin. So we're down to about 23 FPS now. But not a whole hell of a lot of artificial intelligence. There's one train over there. Dim them lights back down there. Alright, two tenths. We are an eight car, yeah? And there we are. So, yep, 24, 25 FPS. There's only one other train over there. All right, he's over there somewhere. Maybe he already took off. Nope, there he is. Bad luck, chap. You did not complete the scenario successfully. Well, guess I'll have to do it again then. But, yeah, so that is Brandon's scenario for the route, which, uh, again, is one of the devs. And that was a lot smoother again. It was fairly obvious there wasn't too much AI, maybe six trains. And I, I did bork it quite a bit because you're supposed to follow a train in and I sat there and monologued like an ass for too long and just kind of ruined the timing as, you know, as usual. It's my forte.
uh, bad timing. But uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at the settings, like I mentioned. So, 19 by 20, 1080. Uh, we'll advance. Dynamic lighting is on. Dynamic clouds off. I typically have this on 2x2 two two or 2x3. Two uh, I currently have it on 2x1. This, for anybody that's unaware, this right here is your main performance boost for Train Sim. All right here. The anti aliasing, and it still sucks. You know, regardless of what you choose. Anisotropic filtering maxed out. All these maxed out. Uh, all these on. Ambient occlusion off. Uh, don't have ambient occlusion in Railworks Enhancer, which I also use as well, but it's kind of a bare bones setting. And also, for those wondering if you're having trouble, uh, as someone mentioned to me, like, hey, turn the headlight flares off and you'll get like 20 frames per second. I did that earlier today and it worked. But you look kind of kind of like a dingle fart, you know, not having lights on and AI trains don't have lights on. But uh, so, yeah, those are my settings. That was the scenario. Uh, so we got to actually run the train a bit. It was a bit smooth. There wasn't a ton of AI, though, but we will be revisiting this uh, route in due time with, uh, I'm sure, patches, mods, scenarios, all that good stuff because, you know, I'm trying really hard to enjoy it, and it is a nicely built route. But that's all for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Found it somewhat informative and, at the very, very least, entertaining with horrible train operation. But uh, I'll see you next time. Take care, guys.